The first story I'm going to tell you is about a little parakeet, first told by a wonderful person in our country, Max Lucado. And the little parakeet's name is Chippy, Chippy the parakeet. Anyone here heard of Chippy the parakeet? Probably not, but Chippy was a beautiful, colorful, feathery parakeet, peacefully perched in his cage, happily singing a song until suddenly he was sucked in, washed up, and blown over. Here's how it happened. Chippy's loving owners cared for Chippy. Chippy knew that he was loved, but the owners one day were forced to leave the house and now Chippy was left alone in his cage. Well, Chippy heard the door opening one day. The front door <laughs> opens and there was the cleaning lady. Not sure if she was a good or bad person, but there she was, didn't really care about Chippy. She came in in a rush and she found the vacuum cleaner and started vacuuming the floor. <laughs> and there's Chippy. Stop swinging his little, little swing there. Yeah, a little nervous. Yeah. There she is, that lady vacuuming the floor in a rush. Well, she gets to Chippy's cage and looks inside and says, Oh, oh, what a dirty cage. Oh, that bird. She opens the cage door and starts to vacuum in there. Gets the suction device out. Needs to take a shortcut because she's in a rush. All the different seeds and different droppings and feathers of the bird. And Chippy's like, no, no. And little feathers are kind of going. Well, in that moment, the phone rings. Ring, ring. It was a landline. Well, it wasn't that far from the cage. And so there's the lady. She didn't want to stop, and so she decided, I'm just going to pick up the phone while I vacuum. And she reaches over to pick up the phone, and as she reaches over and she grabs the phone, what happens to the tube, the suction tube? It kind of goes up, and where's Chippy the parakeet? And there comes this big black hole. And she picks it up and, hello! And right as he says, hello, what happens to Chippy? Got sucked in. Hello! Ah! Ah! Hangs the phone. Oh, no! Well, she didn't want to hurt Chippy, really. No! Ah, well, this time she's forced to stop the vacuum cleaner. Stops it. Ah, oh, what do I do? She knows Chippy is loved by her owners. So she decides, I'll rip the bag open and, and find Chippy. And so she rips open the bag. Stuff flying everywhere. You ever clean the vacuum cleaner? It's pretty bad. Ah, looking everywhere. And she finds Chippy in the bottom. Ah, Chippy. And there's Chippy. Ah. Junk, dirt everywhere. Ah. No, Chippy! Oh, no! What do I do? Ding! She got a great idea. Oh, I need to wash you, wash you, wash you. And so she quickly thinks, where can I go? Oh, yes, the bathroom. Oh, which one? I don't know. Okay, go to that one. She takes off, goes to the bathroom. It's kind of the, the utility faucet there and with the big sink faucet. And she puts Chippy down there and going to turn on the water. Of course, it's not the hot water, it's the cold water. She's gonna turn it on at that moment. Chippy opens his eyes. Uh, 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 what happened? Uh, and what does Chippy see? Another big black hole. Ah, no! And she turns on the faucet. like Niagara Falls on the poor bird. No! She spends a minute washing him up. Finally, turns off the faucet. There you go, clean now. Well, of course it was cold water. So poor Jippy, now he's freezing. Ah, shaking, ah, eyes closed. No! Well, cleaning lady's thinking, 
wait a second, I don't want this bird to freeze on me. What do I do? Ding, again. I am going to get the, uh, the hair dryer. The hair dryer. Where's that hair dryer? So she looks around that bathroom, nothing there. She says, oh, it's upstairs. She runs upstairs, up to the bathroom upstairs, and sure enough, there's a hair dryer up there. She takes the hair dryer, and she points it at Chippy. And there's Chippy, cold, eyes closed, and finally decides to open his eyes. Uh, what does he see? No, another big black hole. Oh, no! And she turns on that hair dryer. And what does that do to Chippy? Ah, here! His feathers burned up. No! No, no, no! Ah, that ought to do it. Walks over to the cage again. Opens it up. Boop! Closes the cage. And goes on fixing up her vacuum cleaner and continuing on. But poor Chippy is left there in his cage, sucked in, washed up, and blown over. Enough to take his song away. It was it. Have you ever heard of someone, or maybe you yourself, have been sucked in, washed up, and blown over? Something really happened that was really bad? Look behind you. Look. This boy here. Timothy. Look, that's his name. Timothy. This boy here was born in India. And he was orphaned. We don't know how he was orphaned because... We learn about him on a train station in India. He and another boy had been living homeless and orphaned on this train station platform. And this nice Indian pastor walks there to get his train. And he looks over and he sees these two boys who had been sucked in, washed up, and blown over. Can you imagine losing your family, having to live on a train station platform for many, many months. The pastor tried to take both kids home. One boy was a terrible kid. He was trying to offer Timothy uh, cigarettes and other things. And so Timothy was there and said, would you like to come to a place that will help you grow up and give you a good education? Timothy was really scared, and he, he said, no, he ran away. So the pastor, with his briefcase, walked over to the train platform, and as the train was coming, the pastor went to reach for his suitcase, and it wasn't there. Because Timothy was holding it, he had changed his mind. He was going with him. And Timothy went to a home in India that is supported by people like you and like your parents here in America who send funds to ICC and then the funds go to Sweet Home Children's Village in India where children are cared for. And Timothy arrived there and he began to get an education. See him back there? That is not what he looked like when he first was at the train station. Well-dressed, with a uniform and smiling. And he grew up, and then Timothy went to the local university, and he studied theology, and he became a pastor and a Bible teacher. And guess where Timothy is now? He is at their local school called the Flays Adventist School Teaching. And they tell us that he's a very good teacher and a very good preacher. Timothy sucked in, washed up, and blown over like Chippy the parakeet. But someone intervened and helped and brought his song back. Isn't that nice? Would you like to be 
one of those people that helps others? I think so.